Hey, what's going on guys? This is uh, JD Moon and I'm coming at you guys with another Magicka DK build video. Um, this is going to be the Pact Breaker. Uh, as you guys know, I've been wanting to do a build with uh, Pelinals for quite some time and I think I figured it out uh, in a relatively good way. Uh, the stats are great. It's very, very defensive uh, as well as uh, just great sustain. Uh, gives you really good material to go ahead and uh, 1VX in Cyrodiil. Um, as well as apply some really, really significant pressure when you're in a group as well. Um, so I want to dive into sets, gear, CP, and uh, what you know, what all to look for whenever you're running the build. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in, and I will show you guys what we're running. Here we go. Okay, so for our Monster Realm set, we are running Bloodspawn. As you guys know, this is my favorite monster set ever. Uh, so I am running two pieces of heavy blood spawn. Both these are going to be in pin and I run uh, two uh, tri stat glyphs on these because I switched this between you know different builds so I just keep a tri stat on both of them. It makes it simpler for me. Uh, but I do run tri stats on all pieces. On the body we are going to be running uh, one piece of shackle breaker on the chest. for It's going to be reinforced. Uh, we are running some Pelinol gr uh, Greaves here that is also going to have a tri stat enchant on it. They are also reinforced. Uh, I'm running Pelinol's uh, Sabatons as well. These are going to be reinforced as well, but these are going to have a Max Magicka enchant as well as a Light Waste uh, that's going to be sturdy, so that's going to help us out with our blocking on our back bar. Um, and this is going to have a Max Magicka enchant on it as well. And then we are also running Pelinol gloves here and these are going to be light as well as running a max magica enchant uh, for those of you who don't know what pelinals does um, it's going to be a, it's actually a relatively decent sustain set uh, what it's going to do is it's also going to give you uh, increase or not increases but it's going to make your weapon and spell damage the same no matter what uh, so, and I'll explain to you guys why I've been wanting to work with pelinals it's just been trying to figure out how to do it uh, so now let's dive into what we have on the jewelry. So we're going to be running a Shackle Breaker Necklace. This is going to be protected with one weapon damage on it, as well as two infused rings. Both of these are going to have weapon damage. Um, I am running axes of Pelinals on the uh, front bar. Now these are Shackle Breaker. Now, however you guys want to set up the jewelry and the... And the um, body you know pieces that's up to you if you want to run sh uh, shackle breaker jewelry and then run all pelinals on the body and then run shackle breaker weapons i completely understand that because it is this uh, shackle breaker is a lower uh trait crafted set so anyways um so weapons we are running two axes on the front bar both these are going to be pelinals one will be nernhone the other one will be charged i'll go ahead and explain a little bit more in detail as to why we're running a nernhone and charged on the back bar, I do run Infused, and I run the Magicka Return Glyph on it in case we're having sustain issues, you know, somebody's put poisons on you, whatever the case may be. Uh, and we are running a Reinforced Shield on the back bar as well. If you want to run that in pin, that's totally fine. Um, so, let's go ahead and talk about the axes. Why do we have the axes? So, if you guys know anything about Dual Wield, you guys will know that you get Twin Blade and Blunt Bleed with Dual Wield. Um, so that's why we're running axes. With two axes, you have a 16% chance of applying this bleed. So that's going to give us a little bit more pressure. Uh, and it's unmitigatable for physical resistance. Um, so that is a really, really good way to apply more pressure on top of applying our own dot pressure um, as well. So the spell damage that we're going to be achieving on this build is, is very, very, very high. Uh, so let's just go ahead and look at stats real quick so you guys can kind of see what we're talking about here. So magic recovery is going to be 16, 17 at base, uh, 891 health recovery at base, and 960 stamina recovery at base. Now, as you guys know, I do run with a pot up at all times. So let's go ahead and drink that pot real quick and then go back to looking here. So with a pot up, we're looking at 1882 magic recovery. 10 or 1000 health recovery and 1100 stamina recovery now so our unbuffed spell and weapon damage is 2676 now let me show you guys this so the reason why i want to use pelinals and why we're going weapon damage is because on a dk you have access to minor brutality just by activating a earth and heart ability so since we're always using fossilize 
I felt it would be a really good idea to, to go ahead and utilize that minor brutality on a mag DK because we don't normally utilize it. Normally it just kind of goes to the wayside and it's just a, an active, you know, piece of shit that we use. So let's go ahead and look at the spell and weapon damage buffed up. So buffed up, we are looking at 3478. Now this is base. Um, this is not including our... Uh, weapon enchant. So if you include our weapon enchant, we're going to be pushing right at 4k. It's like 38 and some change, or no, I'm sorry, 39 and some change. Now that's not including a continuous attack, but if you have a continuous attack, you're going to be pushing over 4,000 weapon and spell damage, um, and you're going to be your your sustain over here is going to be insane. So I was play testing this build, and it's it's nuts. So uh, let's go ahead and buff up here real quick. And so if we go look at our our resistance is here. We're looking at 31.3k spell resist with 30.8k physical. Um, so now that's on our back bar with sword and board. If we switch back over, we're looking at 27.8 and 27.3 on the front bar. And I'll go ahead and explain in CP how we're achieving these numbers as well. Uh, and we are running 1,423 critical resist. Uh, when you're sitting like right at cap on resist, uh, critical resistance is not quite as big of a deal. Um, just because you're not taking a whole lot of damage as it is. Uh, so our boon is going to be the Atro Stone, and we are running the Clockwork Citrus Filet. If you can't afford the Clockwork Citrus Filet, you're more than welcome to run uh, Witch Mother's Brew, and you'll just be lacking the health recovery. Um, so I prefer to have the health recovery. I really like seeing this number up, especially when I hit that pot and I get major fortitude, fortitude here. Um, and it gives me that uh, extra one, you know, puts me at 1,000 health recovery. It makes you really tanky uh, when you're fighting people. So that's that's something really good, especially when you're fighting a defile asshole. So that's just something to think about. I want to dive back over to enchants on the weapons here. So we are running a disease enchant on the offhand. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, well, why are you running a disease enchant offhand? Well, we're running a charged weapon on our front bar. So it's going to give us the same amount of chance of proccing our burning from using uh, talons, you know, burning embers, whip, all those have a chance of proccing burning. So, you know, you don't really need a flame enchant. Um, and not only that, but I feel like the disease enchant is a lot more successful uh, just because you're applying major defile uh, when it procs that major defile from the disease enchant. So the, I really like that synergy with the charged weapon. It works out really, really well. Um, so we are running the uh, weapon and spell damage glyph on the uh, main hand. So that's that. Let's go ahead and jump into CP so you guys can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at for CP. Um, so we are running 56 points in Elfborn, 56 points into Elemental Expert, and 44 points into Spell Erosion. That's going to be 56 points into Master at Arms and 56 points into Thaumaturge. Uh, so we are also running 56 points in Ironclad, 22 into Resistant. 43 in Hardy, 7 in Elemental Defender, and uh, 56 into Thick Skinned. Now, we're running 43 into Heavy Armor Focus. That's to go ahead and give us that extra bump up to our Physical Resist so we can match our uh, Magicka Resist there. And then 43 points into Quick Recovery. Quick Recovery is the best healing CP tree in the game. Please make sure to have at least 10% in there. If you want to go 56, that's fine too. Uh, 56 into Warlord for that 20%, and then we are running 27 into Mooncalf, 56 into Arcanist, and 19 into Healthy. Uh, 56 into Tumbling to reduce that dodge roll cost, and then 20 into Shadow Ward. So that's kind of the basis of the build, so you guys have a general idea. If you guys want to, you know, use it and then do minor changes to tweak it to how you would like to do it, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Um, so I know a lot of people wanted to run Pelinals as though it is a hybrid setup, but instead don't think of it as a hybrid setup, but think of it as allowing you to achieve really, really high spell damage um, and apply really good pressure while also, let me show you guys here. So we're going to flop back over to this uh, front bar here while this is up, while increasing our uh, Twin Blade and Blunt Bleed uh, over the six seconds. So as you're, you know, 
procking your enchant and as you're getting continuous attack buffs this number that number goes up to like 9500 so that's a really powerful dot when you apply that so keep that in mind whenever you're running this build double axes is definitely the way to go uh, it's going to give you really really good pressure uh, if you want to run double swords and increase that just straight out damage by all means go for it i just like the extra pressure and the unmitigatable dot it just it's really nice for me um, obviously if you're fighting a lot of templars then i would suggest going uh, for the swords so uh, that is the pack breaker build i hope you guys enjoy it um, and yeah i'll see you guys out there on the battlefield and i got another build video coming up for you guys as well here very very soon so uh once again i'll see you guys out there on the battlefield you guys have a wonderful day and uh you know don't do anything i wouldn't do <laughs>